Okay, fine. Clobbering time. Clobbering time! Nice! Exploding four faces! That is so amusing! <laughs> Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers! My name is Gears of Kicks and welcome back to Spotted Days to Die, where I play 7 Days to Die modded using Starvation Mod. In the last episode, in the end, I just got refuge after recording. I took refuge in the Shamway, which is just behind the building we looted. And hopefully we're gonna find something tasty inside. Honey wouldn't go amiss because we are infectinated. So actually, I think we do actually need antibiotics. So we have to have to drive around the town, see what else we can loot. Only the big POIs, the most important ones, the rest I do off camera. And then we're gonna head off and see what else we're gonna do. Anyway, I hope you're gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. So we had a little bit of a neighborhood problem to deal with, but let's have a look inside. We're gonna go through all the main crates and that's pretty much it. So, okay, plastic, that is not what I expected in a food place, but better than nothing. Let's see what we have here. Plastic again, nice. So, um, what about food? Like fruit, that would be pretty nice. Ah, oh, yes, but I think it's too late for the jar of honey because I think our infection, even though it's at stage one, it still says antibiotic. Now, I'm gonna drink it anyway. No, it's not. Damn it. I think there was an infection before infection stage one and that might have done the trick. So, okay, yeah, let him come in himself. Like, he can do that himself perfectly fine. No problem here. Plastic! Excellent. So if I want a good source of plastic, I come to the Shamway. If I want a good source of food and drink, I'm going to the working tool stiffy. That's it. Oh, I thought he was in and it's like, oh balls, why is it so quiet all of a sudden? There we go. Nice. Oh, I like it. I will eat that right away. Thank you so much. Very nice. Love it. 100% food that will help. Eh, we don't really need the spots yet. I think I have. They, they, we can find spots all the time. They're not really that rare. So when we have our farm up and running. Oh, yeah. Let's take that out just in case. And let's eat that if we need to. No, we're actually full. Do we have to drink? Yes, of course. How much are we? Uh, 100%. That's okay. Actually, I shouldn't have eaten actually so much just in case we get scurvy and we have to eat. Because we can't eat if we're not hungry. Because putting a piece of fruit in your mouth. Another hunting knife book. Very nice. I like it. Just what we needed. There we go. Yes, the sarcastometer is going off the... <laughs> okay, let's just quickly do that. Nice recipe for craft. I'm actually hoping... Oh shit! Balls! I didn't even realize! Oh yes! Exploded in the fall face! Oh, we don't need that. What I was hoping kind of in the shun way to find, just crazy thought here, was a cooking pot potentially and food but as you can see it is the best source of plastic <laughs> we looted all that there was something still in there okay fair enough holy balls why would i have a crazy thought as trying to find maybe potentially something we can cook with in here oh dear lordy lord of course forks we have forks but no food Okay, we don't really need that, but let's just take it for now. We're gonna get rid of it in a second. Oh, there's more glue. That's very good. I like it. Do we have any wrappers here or any, uh, sorry, bandages? Wrappers. I don't know why I said wrappers there. Murky water. Well, I don't have a pot and I have plenty of snow, so I could theoretically make some murky, wa uh, some murky water myself or water myself. And that's it. Is that really it? Is there nothing any more interesting in this shop? Are you kidding me? That was the worst shop for food ever. <laughs> okay, raw meat I can understand. Fair enough. I understand that. Actually, if we have room, we should pick it up. Um, yeah, we don't really need that. We let's scrap that. I could have repaired it first, but you know what? I'm out of patience. I'm not understanding. Oh yeah, now I just threw out. <laughs> I just threw out the feathers, and the game goes, "Hmm, feathers are too good for you." Well, in this case, I was just in here. Screw you! I'm gonna give you arrowheads now, so you regret throwing out the feathers. Okay, way too much crap on me. I'm go I don't think there's anything more interesting in here. We're going to leave it here. I'm going to go outside, get my things sorted, and then we're gonna do a drive around town and see if there's anything more interesting. 
There is a prison, and we all know that room in the prison that has a lot of goodies in it. So we might actually have a look into that. You don't worry, I'm not gonna show you all that hullabaloo getting in and out of it. We're just gonna have a little drive around. There's a church with a cemetery. This thing, coffin place, and there's another one. So they expected a lot of people to die here at some point. Very good. Oh, pussycat. Yeah, it's aggressive as well. Everything just wants to kill you in this game. Let's see here. Nothing of interest here. And then we have another church with another cemetery. This is cemetery town for sure. And the town still goes on a little bit. I think this is the outer edge now. Yes. And then we have a house here. Is that one with a fountain or is that the one with the water in the basement? I think it's the one with the water in the basement. Okay, no dangerous animals here. Is it the one with the water in the basement? Because that would be quite good. We could freshen up and get some water. Let actually... Oh, yeah. Look at this. Is it here? No, it's not that one. Is it this one? No, it's not that one either. Come on. It must have a loose one. It must have a loose one. No, not here. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is actually... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. I knew it was there. Very good. I like it. Nothing interesting in it, though. But, hey-ho. Nope, nothing interesting here either. That was all I wanted to check. No, it's not the one with the basement that has the water in it. Would have been nice, though, like. Just because I haven't seen one in a while. <laughs> That's the only reason. Oh, look at the bed. This is a very comfortable bed. We are resting well. Very good. What is that? Oh, airdrop. We gotta go for that. I was just in the process of actually breaking up all, all, open all the safes from the bank. And I've even made a chest and everything. And let's go. Let's go. That is important. We don't want to miss out on the airdrops. Let's go. Screw everything. <laughs> it, that's actually not that far away, especially if you have a bike. But we, I have a lot of room in my inventory right now because I was actually preparing for the looting of the safes. Yes, words are coming to me very slowly. Very nice. Is there any animals around here? No. Okay. Let's wait for it. It's lovely when you actually have the time to wait for it. Look, all the room in the world. There we go. There's the beauty. Love it. No panther to bite me in the ass. Even better. Okay, what do we get? We got a, a rifle, nice. One round, let's not waste it. Schematic, which we already know. Already know, antibiotic, yes! Oh my lord, that is exactly what we needed. Let's eat that antibiotic, it is so... Oh, uh, yum, 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 Nice. <laughs> I'm no longer infected, Aiden. Screw you, world. Get me another time. <laughs> Back to the bank, I'm breaking open all the safes. Actually, we're gonna stop here at the shantytown first. That was another thing I was going to cover. Oh, there we go. Sorry, okay, but I can't let you eat my balls. It's just not happening, okay? Let's go in here and have a look. I think this is the best site to get in, really. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, let's actually have a look into here. And let's hope that there's something interesting in the in these guys. Okay, a bandage, which is not that interesting. Nothing. It's not interesting at all. Another bandage and another bandage. And damn it, I forgot something. I was just in the process of getting the points filled in for scavenging because I leveled up once or twice between in this episode or in the last, sorry, in the last episode, between the last one and this one anyway. And um, I wanted to get Joe up all the way. I forgot to do that. Luckily, I remember that now before I opened the saves in the bank. Now let's really quickly go over here and see if we can find anything more interesting in here. This is what I'm interested in. This is the Shamway ones. Let's see if we can find some goodies. There's no boiler in here or anything. I actually think the Shamway should have a generator that you can take with you. To be honest, because Shamway is like, that is a town that is self-sufficient. There should be at least an electric thingy. <laughs> okay, this is unlocked. Yes, we have to be very careful here with the mine. We're gonna have to open the safe. So let's read this. There we go. And let's see what's in here. Oh, look at that! Yes! Straight away, a very good rifle. 
Very nice and very, very high level revolver. It still does absolutely no damage, but it's great. We're going to have to actually make a chest. Uh, I think the roof on the Shamway was good. Oh, shit. 55, 32, okay. I think this one's faster though. Shoot you in the ass! Oh, it's coming this way. Nice. <sighs> Excellent. Genie Mac, I think that would have actually gotten me now. If I would if it wouldn't have <laughs> stopped there. Whew! Look at this beauty here! Yes! Okay, let's get rid of all these guys. Okay, nobody here. Nice. Okay, let's see if they have anything interesting on them. But we got a truck, and we're going to have to take it apart. Of course. Take that. Damn it, I'm full again. I'm always full. I'm, I have a problem. Oh, shit. Oh! Woo! Okay, okay, okay! Yeah, nice. Yeah, let's get rid of this meat. Oh. It was moving. That was creepy. Okay, we're going to have to take apart this. Oh, look, there's more. What do you have on you? You have more things we can repair. Very nice. Scrap that, actually. Oh, there's so many of them. Why is there so many? Holy balls. Okay, let's do it. Are you balls? Nice. Oh, I love it! Is that it? Okay, fine. Clobbering time. Clobbering time! Nice! Exploding four faces! That is so amusing! <laughs> it's raining blood! Hallelujah! It's raining blood! Oh, yeah! There we go. Look at that lovely, lovely bed of dead bodies. Very nice. Now that, oh, eh, all right. There we go, great. All right, let's see what this baby got. Okay, we made a little bit of space, so let's see what we have here. Okay, an MGC receiver. I think the, I think I have multiple MG parts now. The scope I found in the last episode is, um, I think it's also an M, it was an MG or MT or something. I think it was an MG. And let's take this baby apart and let's see what happens. Well, we could leave it there and wait for things to respawn because apparently tanks are not that frequent, even though that is the third tank or the second tank I've seen now. Okay, let's take it apart, that baby. Look at this. This goes actually fairly quickly and it gives you a lot of... Um... What is that again? Gunpowder. <laughs> I'm like, hello, what does it give you again? I'm completely not getting it. Okay, the revolvers are gone because they're actually pretty crap in strength. Even when they're 500, it seems that they're just not really that good. So let's see what else we're gonna get. We have things on the floor now, I think, because we can't carry as much here. Oh, oh no, there's the components. So let's leave that here and make a little bit more room in here. What else can we get rid of? Okay, we're gonna have to scrap this. We don't have a choice. It's like it's getting too much. It's just getting too much. We can't carry as much anymore. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Let's fill up this baby here a little bit. There we go. Nice. Let's finish the tank. Here we go. Here we go. And... Oh, I got nothing special from it. Unless there's something on the ground. Is there something on the ground? That I'm not seeing? No? Okay. I think I got everything. Let's actually put that thing away here. And let's see if there's anything else. No, there was nothing else that dropped. Okay. Fair enough, it's all gone. There's just dead zombies everywhere. All right, so we got a good part for it. So I wonder how many parts we have now. I think we have at least two parts. Let's go back to the bank and let's go and get the safes. Wow, okay, this is weird because I actually, you can see I changed like, so we actually had to take a break. So I was out, I went for dinner and I'm back now. So it's about 
I would say, what is it, uh, about two and a half hours later. So I was able to play a little bit on uh, between the last clip and this, and I sorted all my stuff out because there's just way too much loot. And I was just by chance, actually, before I continued recording this, reading a comment where somebody was telling me that clothing is not only important for survivors, but also the type of clothing, and that you need certain specific type of clothing for certain things to do with the survivors and with certain... Um, uh, workbenches or whatever stations um so yeah that made hoarding and looting just gave it a whole another level if we have to keep all the closing now then wow okay so i better put in every town where I loot straight when i come in the first house loads of boxes and take what i need and i'm glad that we have a mini bike because without the mini bike there would be absolutely no way we would be able to sort all this crap out so let's go back to the bank open all the safes and what is actually trying to attack my balls genie mark Something is this always something trying to look like this, okay? So these are the type of clothes now that I'm gonna have to keep Okay, I don't know if I have I, I probably will have to make a chest just for clothes, okay? Because we need to so let's do that quickly I'm gonna make a chest for clothes we're gonna repair them Then we're gonna go back to the bank and we're gonna open all the safes which should be amazing and very exciting I hope we find some useful recipes in there actually All right, we have opened them all nearly. I'm so running out of Durability we have 24 durability left, which should be enough to open the rest I only have one or two hits on each left I kind of try to spread the love around in case I run out of durability and every time I want to look at you I look at the top left picture anyway. Sorry about that. Never mind and um, I try to evenly spread it out in case I have to start using a stone axe to open the rest now. Excuse me Let's have a look. We have a steel fire axe. Look at this. How lucky was that? Um, I updated Quality Joe. If you have missed it earlier on, I updated Quality Joe finally to the last point. And I'm not kidding. You're absolutely right. That last increase of Quality Joe. Now, mind you, I spent a lot of points on getting my scavenging from 40 or from 39 to 60 and then purchased Quality Joe. But it's totally worth it. Since then, I got the revolvers, which were purple. I got the steel axe just now from one of the lumberjack zombies outside who tried to come in while I was doing this. Absolutely fantastic. So, paper. Amazing. Absolute epic paper. Totally worth the quality job. <laughs> Sir, your sarcastometer just went BOOM! <laughs> anyway, yes, and known recipes are definitely worth it. I'm only kidding. Oh, energy. Oh, I got really excited when I heard energy, electric energy. Oh, man. But that is recipe. I know what recipes are that that I already know. Electric energy systems, analysis and operation. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That is a very good find. Okay, we got one silver nugget. That's good because we're going to have to visit the trader at some point, which I think is on a friggin' island. Oh, we got the miner, uh, the miner, the, the dummy mini bike book. And, okay, the game really is like, dude, I keep giving it to you, you keep reading it, and you keep forgetting how to do things. <laughs> but I think the difference is that with the Enforcer magazine, we actually can do it in the workbench, in the armory workbench. So, there wasn't a lot, but we have more outside that I haven't opened yet. I already damaged them, but I haven't opened them yet. So we got another one here. We already know. We got, oh my god, how many crossbow schematics are there now? Let me see. Okay, more nuggets. That's good. That's good for money. Oh, nah, we already know that. So hopefully we can buy the books or a boiler from the trader. A shotgun! Nice! That is totally worth it. Oh, man. Okay, so that is that. that is good. Okay, we got some money here. We're gonna have to actually get all the money and all the items we can sell. We're gonna have to take a trip to the trader in the next episode. Might we gonna do that? That would probably be a good thing to do. Because now that we have the nuggets as well... And we have a lot. We have actually quite a lot of money. I think we have at least four, five hundred, which is not a lot. But if we bring everything that costs more than two hundred or something to it, especially not these guys, but the uh, the panchos and all that, these guys here that we're wearing, and anything military related should be fetching quite a penny. We should be getting lucky enough. We might actually go on a treasure hunt first. So I have a couple of treasure maps at home that once we're at main base at the hotel. We're gonna open the treasure maps and we're gonna go around, dig them up, and then we're gonna go to the trader, which I think would be very good. Would be would be nice. Okay, so these guys are opening. Yeah, okay, so we're not gonna destroy them. And we opened these guys. Excellent. All right, okay. I'm gonna go through the rest of the building now. I'm gonna read all these recipes. I think we, we know all of them, except the rocket launcher, actually. That was good. That was the one recipe we didn't know yet. So that was very good. 
And we know that, we know that, we know that, we know. Look there, recipe 44 Magnum, not knowing, not known. Uh, because I have spare now, I can show you again, people who missed it. I'm reading it. It says now known. I log off, I log back on. It's gonna say 44 Magnum again. So that's the problem with that. Anyway, and do we have anything else new? No sledgehammer, the nuggets, they're gonna fetch us some money. And the dumb shit book for dummy bikers and this. Okay, excellent. Okay, this is getting tight, balls. They're gonna start running now. Shit. Come on. Oh, another one. Come on! Get it on! Okay, I was actually more afraid than I let on. Okay, that's nice. I'm just out here collecting clay in the middle of nowhere. Do I have enough? 300, can we make a bellow now? Or a forge, yes, I think we can make a forge now because we could do with some steel, or not steel, with some forged iron. Damn it, is it steel? Ah, balls, I think it's steel, isn't it, that we need to repair this with? Yeah, balls. So if we have an axe, if we have a fire axe, an iron fire axe, we can actually craft it on us. Yeah, okay, we can make that. That would be a good replacement. I don't think I can make a workbench, actually, so I don't think, or a big forge. Well, we'll see. Let's see what it can do. I'm going to get settled in up there because that's probably where we're gonna have to get uh, our little outpost, uh, well, our little holding area uh, started. And I'm going to go throughout the night and see if we can find anything else to... Yes, we can! Down there, the working tool stiff, we actually didn't... St uh, we actually did not loot that yet. Um, I think we actually reached our time so far anyway, so I think this... I think this is actually it for today. So I'm gonna see if I can make a forge. And um, then we can start making a little bit um, of steel actually if we can make a big forge that would be nice And we're gonna put it on this roof and then I think in the next episode we will go back to the base I don't think there will be any more looting for this time I really thought we would get lucky with the boiler or with the mill But it seems that we're not so what we're gonna do instead is we're going to start working on the traps on the animal farm And on the food farm for trees because they don't seem to need the lights as much or at all actually or the pesticides So that is the idea anyway Waffled your ear off. Oh, sorry about that. I hope you did enjoy the episode anyway. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Let's have a quick run through this like only the crates. I already opened the safe in the back. Well, nearly. Let's take these guys out of the spring. That's not all that amazing. Okay, we've got some paper here. Nothing here, a bin, okay, no coins, okay, no coins, what do we have in here? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, we have to be quiet, it's night outside and the zombies are rolling, oh, nice rocket launcher, oh, wow, a rocket launcher recipe inside a shelf, inside a locker, that's always amazing. Okay, let's see what we have in here, oh, nice, look at that handle and everything, that little forge I just made can actually use that, nice. Okay, let's get the trash as well, let's have a look what we have in here. Oh, 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 more of the springs. Very good. I like it. Okay, some brass. Excellent. Okay, in the bathroom, the pills. Turret shit. Water. I'm trying to really fly through this now so we can actually get all this done before the next episode. Just here in the outro. That would be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Very nice. I like it and I'm all ready for it. That is amazing. Let's quickly do the back room. Oh, I actually didn't need to pick that up. That's actually not really that good. We got more sheaves. I don't know what they're really there for yet, but let's read this anyway. Let's go in here and let's open all these guys up. So let's see what we have in here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that was a waste of time. What do we have in here? Here. And another first aid kit recipe. Very nice. That's the third or fourth one we found in this village alone, which is impressive. Okay, let's open the last ones here. And this one. Ten mechanical parts. Nice. I actually could make a workbench now. Very nice. And recharge with butter. Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh! We gotta keep this, we gotta throw this out. Oh, this is amazing! What do we have here? Nothing. Okay, that made up for the nothing. That is so awesome. We got the calipers. 